Begin to do supernatural spiritual surgery on them right now. Open them up and remove whatever it is that's invading their body. Remove whatever it is that's invading their minds. Do it right now, Lord. Touch their bodies. Heal them, God. Give them the assurance and knowing that by your stripes we are healed. And then, God, I just praise your name. That the seed has been planted into good ground. That there's somebody who came in needing to hear a word today. And that something is said. A song was sung. A prayer was prayed. A scripture was read. That has been deposited into this spirit. Now God, we know that the doors of the church never close. So I pray that you might order their steps to people who will pray with them and pray for them. Intercede on their behalf. Lift them up. Lead, lead them and guide them, God. So that that seed might not just be water, but that it might take root, and that there might be fruit that falls from the tree of everybody under the sound of my voice. We believe it done now in Jesus' name. Somebody shout amen. Put your hands together for God today. Put your hands together for God today. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Doors of the church never close. So there's someone who is here today, you desire. 
God to, first of all, give your life to Christ. You desire to be connected. You can always approach myself, any of the other ministers of this church, and we will make sure that you are connected to the body of Christ and to this ministry. It's offering time. Yeah. It is offering time. The word of God says give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure. Press down. Shake together and rock with your men and women give into your bosom. It is offering time. Praise be the name of the Lord. Are y'all glad to have something to give? Yeah. Amen. We don't need to take giving for granted. Because there's some folk that literally don't have nothing to give. Have you ever done like me and went to the gas station and had to figure it out? You go to the gas station like, Lord, okay, where I got to go? How far are these, these few dollars going to get me? I don't know about you, but I told y'all there have been days when I drove up beside somebody eating a McDonald's Big Mac and looked at them and said, oh, Jesus, I wish I could just have a cheeseburger right now, but I ain't got two pennies to rub together. Don't take giving for granted. Everybody don't have to give. And so when God blesses you, we're obligated to be a blessing back to the Lord for his goodness to us. Amen? Amen. So at this time, uh, at this time, we are ready to turn it over to the hands of our ushers. Are we ready? All right. Praise God. At this time, I invite the outer aisles to stand and follow the ushers coming down the back. The outer aisles and follow the ushers coming down the back. If you're paying my debit, you can do so. If you're donating my debit, you can do so to my left and your right, right out that door. Amen.
and her walk is going to benefit. Moving my step. Her walk is going to benefit two agencies or companies. And I'm trying to find what they are real quick. The Outreach Indiana Homeless Youth Ministry and the CNBC Food Pantry. So if you want to celebrate with Sister Clementine Jones and do a walk at Northwest Way Park, please, the donation is $7. I think you can pay there on Saturday as well. Okay, there's the final word. Please note your letter that every member should have received about the lupus walk. The lupus walk is Brother Shane here? Oh, okay, they're gone out of town. But Brother Shane Lee is a lupus patient. And please read your letter if you're interested in the walk. It's Saturday, October 1st at the historic military park. So we hope all of you walkers and those, I know we have a couple other members that have uh, the chronic disease of lupus. So please, let's just join together and let's start walking. Special recognition today, Edwin. Please stand, Edwin. <laughs> This award is presented to Edwin Gerton for achieving the highest, the highest ninth grade NWEA fall.